Hey guys, what is up? Bring me the boa here. And, um, well, I know I mentioned in one of my last videos that, um, I was not intending on getting any more snakes. But, um, today it's gonna be a little different. Cause, uh, by the time this is going up, he should have been in quarantine for maybe two and a half months, I'm thinking. It's, it's been three weeks. Or it's been about a week and a half. So, the comparison video for him is going to come out a little bit later, just so that he passes through quarantine. But, here he is. Um, Hi, Fruit Loop. Hi. Fruit Loop wanted to come in today to end this video. Hi. Okay, Fruit Loop. Here, put you back down here. But, um, anyways, back on, on topic. Um, Fruit Loop, what are you doing? You want out already? You just can't, okay. I guess he just wanted to see what I was doing. Um, which, um, this is what, like, the second video he's done that in now? But, um, without further ado, this is the new snake. And, um, he's in paper towel just because, um, he went to see if he pooped or not. And this was a little thing he came in. So, a little deli cop. And, uh, had a paper towel, or, these are toilet paper rolls. I'm gonna keep these in here, but I'm gonna cut them in half for him to make, like, a, a stack. Because um, today I'm actually going to upgrade his, him to an actual legitimate substrate. Um, which I'll do a video on that separately. But um, this is the new boy. Um, in the comparison video, hi, I'll be comparing him to a normal type and to an albino. And you'll see why I'm making those comparisons. But I was at the pet store and I saw the tag. I saw his, actually his... Um, his stomach coloration, which is what was a dead giveaway of exactly what color morph he was. And I was so, so excited because I never thought I'd get to see one of these, let alone have the ability to buy one. Um, this is my new snake. Here he is. Really pretty pattern. It's very similar to an albino in terms of like the color phase. Um, but what sets his color morph out from others is this brown belly of his. Um, that's actually what his morph gets its name for. He is a toffee belly. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. I was genuinely excited to see him because these things just are based on what I've heard online. Um, there are not a whole lot of these in the US. Like they're really underrepresented in compared to like how many there are in the UK as well as other places in Europe. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. It's just um, some things I've heard from breeders on Instagram and on Fauna Classifieds. But he's just so cool. He's super chill too. I'm still figuring out what I'm going to name him. So for now, it's just the boy, I guess. Um, but... Something that's cool about him, too, that I noticed is um, his tongue is actually brown. So, it's a little bit of a, a theory I have, but I actually think that hognose color morphs, as well as just snake color morphs in general, actually will affect the color of the tongue. Because I, I know that it affects their eye color to some extent in some species, as well as the, um, obviously, the, the actual color color of, like, the dorsal and the ventral areas. But um, it seems like it affects his tongue coloration, too, because his is, is like a chocolate brown. Um, Percy's is a pink color, which he's an albino, so no pigment. But, um, yeah, I was just super stoked to see this guy. And so I, I bought him with uh, my Christmas money. So it didn't, didn't send me back at all, in my opinion, because I never actually put it in my bank account. <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm super excited because um, having him actually opens up a lot of of 
doors that would have been closed prior to having this. This is actually one of the three morphs that I I wanted to finish. I wanted to have to finish my like my um starting group because um I wanted an exantic, which I ended up getting an exantic. I wanted an albino, and I got an albino. I got a normal, and she's like a mild red phase, so pretty neat. And then I got an arctic, which arctic is just one of my favorites, but you can mix arctic with almost anything out there in terms of western hognose morphs. Um, so pretty much everything I have, I can breed to everything else I have for the hog noses. So I can make um, toffee glows, which are albino toffee bellies. I can make toxics, which are... Um, Toffee Belly Exanthics, I can make Toffee Belly Arctics, and I can just make like normal Toffee Bellies. But again, so this is a, um, it'll take me a little bit, like how I was explaining with the Exanthic, um, because this trait, this trait right here is a recessive gene, so it'll take me at least two generations of breeding to get because I do not have anything that's het Toffee Belly. Um, the only animals I have that are heads, um, is my Xanthic Azura, who's het or pos het um, albino, and then Talos, my Arctic, who is het albino. He's 100% het albino. So, I the only hets I do have are for albino, but honestly, I'm just super excited. I have exactly, exactly, well, I said. I'm I'm stuttering because I'm excited, um, but I have what I what I need now. I have exactly what I want to make what I want. Um, the only was it two more genes left that I like I really want to work with, but they can wait because I now have a few different projects I can work on now with the genes I have. Um, hey. You have a little bit of dirt on your snout. Can you let me get that for you? No? Okay. Well, yeah, this is the new boy. But um, I have a few different projects I can work on. So, lavender and ana the anaconda gene, those can both wait for now. Because, uh, well, lavender's super expensive to get. I'm, I know for a fact I'm never going to see one of those in person at, like, a reptile store. It's local, so that one's a far stretch. Um, Anaconda is more common, but I got my hands full. <laughs> Had my hands full before I got him, and now I definitely have my hands full. So, um, but I had the the bins ready and stuff, so there's no harm, no foul. Plus, it's just so cool getting to actually see a toffee belly, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Because normally it'd be like seven hundred dollars ish to have them shipped, and I again I'd have to deal with shipping, and then if it depending on if any of the breeders I know have any or not, I might end up having to import, which again is probably adds quite a few dollars onto the coast. So yeah, this was just a great deal for me to find. Plus, he's just sweet. He's like one of the nicest hog noses. Like, as you can see, he's just been really chill. He's just been a little ball. Cute little ball. It's like a ribbon of toffee. But, um, yeah. It's, I'm just super excited. This is super fun for me. But, happen out. Only purchase of 2019. Only purchase of 2019. <laughs> so, and this will be my last purchase of 2019. Despite some other good deals I've seen, gonna have to hold off. <laughs> but I um, just thought I'd show you guys him. Um, the reptile store I got him from was Hold Fast Reptiles, which is actually where Andromeda came from. Funnily enough, um, because I had their business card, and they actually changed locations um, between Andromeda and him. So, it was just kind of funny buying from the same store. Because they're also one of the few places here, like in my area, that actually carry hog noses. There are, I think, three pet stores I've seen that have them regularly. 
So it was just, it was cool to stop in there, because originally we went in there for pinkies, because the pet store we usually go to was too far and probably was going to be closed by the time we got there. So we stopped to buy this one, and he was there, so I ended up buying him. But yeah, and $200 compared to the, you know, 700 plus shipping that I've seen some of these guys go for, it was definitely a good investment in my opinion, but... Anyways, um, comment names, because I'll take, I'm looking for some suggestions, but I, I have a couple ideas that I'm already thinking about, because I'm thinking that, um, since I went with Talos and Nazura for the last two, and the two prior were Greek, and the other two were, um, from, from Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls series, um, for names, I'm thinking of sticking to one of those two themes, either Greek or, um, something from the... Empirical Pantheon and Elder Scrolls. Still kind of debating on which one, but um, feel free to comment names because, again, taking suggestions. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon if you want to get notified or right when new videos come out. And the video coming after this one is actually going to be me setting up his little bin and showing just kind of what I do for bin setups. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.